Hi, uh, my name is Sean Condomore. I'm uh, with Midwest Interventional Spine Specialists. Uh, and I'm speaking to you on behalf of my other, other partners, my doctors here at uh, Midwest Interventional Spine Specialists and the staff here. And really this is a, a quick update on what we are doing in our office with regards to the coronavirus pandemic. As you know, it's all a pandemic now. Um, our priority is to keep you guys safe, meaning you guys, meaning our, our friends, our patients, uh, and everyone, anyone we come in contact with here in our offices, either in our Munster office or our Chesterton office, uh, or in our Hobart office or in our Dyer office. We want to keep everybody safe. So just wanted to let you know, in addition to our normal cleaning procedures that occur in our offices, and what that means is we have a uh, health grade a health grade cleaning crew, um, you know, a health grade certified cleaning crew that comes in every night and cleans up everything, all surfaces and all different areas in our, in our office. But in addition to that, because of coronavirus and because of the risk of transmission, we are using pretty high grade um, disinfectant uh, wipes to, to wipe down all surfaces. This is even more powerful than Clorox wipes you'd get at home. But basically what we're doing is we're, um, we're using this to wipe down all of our surfaces, um, all door handles, all the railings on the handrails on which you sit in our you know, reception area or in the office um, examination rooms. All that's getting wiped down uh, you know, after every patient contact. And certainly all of our doctors and medical assistants and nurses are washing their hands uh, before and after every patient contact and using hand sanitizer or hand washing with every, every, at every uh, point in, in the patient care algorithm or patient care uh, patient flow. I just want to let you know that uh, we are not shaking hands anymore. I mean, we're very fond of shaking hands and hugging our patients and showing affection, but we are basically going to be uh, fist bumping all our patients or elbow tapping, so please don't get offended if we don't shake your hand. Uh, and this should be going for you as well. Uh, most events have been canceled, <laughs> in any large events have been canceled all around the nation actually. Uh, and I'm advising my staff also that on weekends and evenings, if you don't have to go somewhere, if it's not essential, just stay home you know, watch Netflix, have fun with your families instead of uh, exposing yourself. This is especially important if you have family members that are over 70 or 80, have heart disease, lung disease, diabetes, or hypertension, because they're at very high risk of getting um, coronavirus and potentially dying from coronavirus. So if you have one of those members of your family at home with you, you need to take extra precautions so that you don't potentially infect them. Because we have to, we have to understand that every one of us is potentially a carrier. Uh, the U.S. really only started testing people a few days ago, so nobody really knows how many people are affected. And, and I, I don't want to be alarmist because this, this may all blow over very quickly, but it could be here for many months. One thing is for certain, as, I, as far as I understand, there's about 13,000 case, 1,300 cases of coronavirus that we know of in the U.S., of which about 40 people have died. Those numbers will certainly grow. Within, by the weekend, you're going to see more deaths, you're going to see more people um, who are suffering from this illness. In, in Indiana, we now have about 11 patients, or 11 people who have um, who have been infected with, with coronavirus. That number will surely grow as well. So, just, it's going to be a, it's going to get worse before it gets better, but it will all be better at one point, and everyone will be just fine. But pe those people who are at risk are going to potentially face some serious um, illnesses. So we really have to prepare for that, and that's why we're taking every precaution in our office to make sure that we don't spread this uh, to anybody. Uh, within the office, meaning our patients or our staff. So I thank you for listening to this uh, and please be safe and be healthy. Thank you, have a great day.